Hey everybody, Top Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So, as I mentioned yesterday, we were going to talk about the tropics and things have actually started to heat back up again. We've been warning of this potentially occurring for a little while here. Well, there's not exactly a tropical wave at the moment. We do have a disturbance with a 30% chance of development within the next week here that's out in the Atlantic right now. Right now, the conditions in the Atlantic are a little bit variable at this time regarding the tropics. But I do actually expect things to ramp up. Like I said in previous videos, we've been anticipating an uptick in activity. But if, as we look right now, this is our current picture. This is right around the time we're shooting the video here. It's about 2 p.m. You can see that we're starting to see some of that wind shear begin to fade away here. There's still a little bit out ahead of where this system could potentially form. But what I want you to pay attention to is the next few days ahead of here. This is the time frame right here that I'm looking at now. So as we continue to go forward, as we go 28th, 29th, notice that that wind shear is now starting to weaken ever so slightly. And as we get towards the end of this month, all that red now has dwindled to a tiny little spot just south of Jamaica. And as we get into the start of August here, that red's even gone. Even the oranges are starting to fade away at this point. So as we get into the beginning of the month here, I would be surprised to see a couple of disturbances sneak off that West African coast here and maybe we could start to see some named storms begin to pop up. Keep in mind that we are getting towards the historical peak of hurricane season so it's not too out of character or too out of a season to see this so to speak but even so we still have to be extra watchful, especially given the forecast that we've had for this year with an extra active year, especially past the 60 degree west line. If you look to the west of the 60 degree west line, you know what you see here, it's all land. So this is not just a video for the US here, this is a video for anyone around the islands here, the Caribbean as a whole, of course parts of Mexico as well. Things might get a little bit busier <laughs> in the next few days here. But as we continue to go on here, I see the environment only becoming more and more favorable on the wind shear side of things. There is, however, a saving grace, and that is going to be the dry air. The dry air aloft, we want obviously with a tropical system to have a very humid environment in order for these to thrive. And right now with, we, with these brown areas, this is uh, relatively low humidities. This kind of bodes against tropical development a little bit. We do have good sufficient areas when it comes to uh, humidities and moisture, but predominantly over that main development region, it's going to be a constant little clash between these two air masses. Mainly, we're going to be seeing a lot of moisture coming from the tropical lows themselves, but what we're struggling with here is that dryer that's coming from Spain and France working its way around this high here and continuing to be circulated right back in the path to that main development region, which is right about here. So with that being said here, could be a little bit topsy-turvy as in regards to uh, how these systems end up uh, developing. And you can even see that we have that dry air and maybe even some Saharan dust coming into play here towards, let's say, even the Caribbean now. So with that in mind, there is a chance that even if we get things going, it may not be of any significance. Then again, a great example earlier this year. Hurricane Barrel, there's plenty of dry air out ahead of it. These storms can develop well enough. In due time, what we can end up having happen, and they end up forming its own little moisture shield. And it's more or less theory than this at this point, but these little moisture shields will end up uh, allowing these storms to go through these little pockets of dry air and continue to grow. We actually ended up seeing this with Barrel, and I don't have any reason to think that we couldn't see any other systems do that as well. So, like I said, we'll really just be keeping an eye on things here in the channel, and if things change, of course, we'll let you know. But another interesting thing to make note of here is if we look at the vorticity, vorticity simply meaning spin, if we look at our vorticity model here, and we're looking for mid-level spin with any of these tropical systems that may come off of the West African coast, what I want you to pay attention to is where these isobars start to kind of kind of constrict a little bit like you start to see an isobar for and, and then you might see others start to form around it that's a central point of low pressure that we'll be keeping an eye on right now there's a couple of areas that i've been paying extra close attention to for one this this one that i see about 234 hours out 
Uh, keep in mind that's nearly 10 days and I'm not going to put a lot of merit into it. It's just kind of backing up the thought that's been really a uh, claim from a lot of the weather community for a while that we are going to see an increase in activity from the tropics as we go forward here. Again, this is right towards where we would expect it to be. This is the main development region. But what we want to pay attention to in particular are these is this area right here, because like I said, once you get past that 60 degree west line, only place that these storms can go at this point is into land. And as time goes on, even though it doesn't look like there's anything in particular that kind of catches my focus, notice you start to see these little specks of yellow. Those are little pieces of energy that are starting to develop there, starting to make their way into that region that we were talking about past the 60 degree west line. So like I said, I'm seeing the indicators. Can't verify that anything has happened, that anything will happen at this point in time, but anything can happen. You need to be extra watchful over the course of the next couple of weeks here. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at one of my favorite models to look at when it comes to the tropics. And this is the ensemble member pressures. Does this guarantee that anything develops? Of course, no but this looks at the probability of low pressure centers forming and the more red numbers you see here the higher the probability of low pressure centers you can also see the little blue areas these are high pressure centers high pressures for fair weather so we aren't going to really worry about that too much but notice as we continue to go forward here we're starting to see several different areas begin to uh, merge here as we go into this five day period here and as we continue to move along here you can see additional areas where we have these little red numbers in and and a uh, and the brighter colors to go along with it that's kind of giving us an indicator that we're starting to see a little bit more in the way of activity over here towards this main development region and in time we end up starting to see the probability of uh, low pressure centers here possibly even making their way into the gulf as we go further along here now keep in mind we're 300 hours out at this point so things can get kind of dodgy in regards to trying to forecast something like this so this is really just more or less an outlook hence why we call these videos tropical outlooks but in any case though i find it interesting that we're starting to see more and more pieces of energy as we get towards the end of this model run here and while i don't really have much in the way right now available models to give a better look at or give a or to give a better look for a model agreement right now there is there's a reason there's a good reason to believe that we're going to see an increase in activity across the board here like i said this season definitely favors setups that could cause issues over here towards land be it the u.s or the caribbean so again just like i said a little bit earlier make sure you're paying extra close attention of course if things change let you know here on the channel of course so make sure you are smashing that like button hit that subscribe button also hit that share button as well make sure you have that notification bell to go along with that and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video till then you take care and have a good rest of your saterday this is tyler metalhead weatherman signing off